let's talk about some funky coloration. So I'm sure at this point most people have heard of albinism, which is a lack of pigment in an animal or even sometimes plant, causing a com pretty much complete lack of color. On the other end, there is melanism, which is overproduction of the melanin pigment, which causes a very dark or black color. But we are here today to talk about a third one, erythrism. Erythrism is a type of abnormal pigmentation that causes a red or pink or orange color. Now, it is quite common in the insect kingdom, particularly orthopterans, being grasshoppers, katydids, and crickets is I think the group of animals that it has been observed in the most. However, it has been observed in other things including mammals and birds and reptiles. In insects and reptiles, it's most commonly presented as a very pink color, but in mammals it's normally a more orangish red. Now, there are actually a couple different ways for erythrism to arise, one of them being genetic mutation. But even within genetic mutations, there can be a couple different ones that cause it. One, the underproduction of some certain pigment, mainly things like melanin. That's mostly the case in mammals. The melanin pigment is less produced, so anything that's supposed to be darker colored, like this zebra, instead presents as this orange red brown. Melanin pigments aren't being produced at a high enough number, so that leaves the under pigments, those being the red and orange pigments. There's also cases of overproduction of red pigments instead of underproduction of other pigments where the red pigment is being produced so much that it's kind of overshadowing any other colors that would come through normally. And there can also be both happening at the same time. One pigment is being underproduced and the red pigment is being overproduced, both of which result in the same thing. And occasionally, erythrism has also been caused by an abnormal diet. Now, this isn't a diet that causes pigmentation, such as the flamingos eating the brine shrimp, turning them pink. This is an abnormal diet causing abnormal color. The main cited case for this is where there were a few bees that instead of eating normal sugar, they ate the bright red corn syrup that's used in maraschino cherries, and then they ended up turning bright red. So that is the case of erythrism caused by abnormal diet. Now, most of the time, this is very rare. If it is a genetic condition, most of the time it's a deleterious mutation because this bright red or pink coloring usually, especially in the cases of insects, makes it much easier for them to be seen by predators. In mammals and birds and such, it's not that big of a deal. It may mess with camouflage a little bit, but in insects, it's quite a lot worse to have, despite it being more common in insects, but if you picture a normal green katydid beside this bright pink katydid, one of them is a hell of a lot easier to see and is a hell of a lot more likely to be caught by predators. But while it may make survival a little bit trickier, it is still very cool to see and very rare.